Fortnite Season 2's first update is here, and Midas has escaped the underworld, bringing map changes, a limited time event, and tons of new weapons. After waiting so long, the latest mythic has arrived, and let's just say it's ridiculous. These are the Chains of Hades. Not only can you pick them up from him in battle, but they straight up appear in floor loot and chests. It makes sense, because one person having these would be so overpowered. It has a regular slash attack that can deal between 40 and 70 damage, and the range is crazy, letting you hit people from up to 16 meters away. Way. But there's also a pull feature. Sure, you can drag players towards you and it'll even damage them, yet this also works with items on the ground. It even reaches up to 40 meters away. I mean, what? To make it even cooler, when the chains are on the ground, listen closely because you'll hear the souls of the dead. From strangling people to saving them, a new item has entered the Junior series. I mean, we all know how bad the Crash Bad Juniors were, so to hear Fortnite was trying it again, it was a head scratcher. This time, it's the Shield Bubble Junior, Epic's answer to a problem that didn't exist. But I gotta admit though, this one is growing on me. It drops in stacks of twos and you can even hold four. Despite the fact it's now junior size, you can still protect a reboot van and honestly, it fits perfectly, almost feels intentional. Really glad this is in season two because we are surrounded by mythics. We needed a shield that could block their power, and trust me when I tell you, it works like a charm. It can deflect lightning bolts, Hades chain, you name it, it protects you. Fun fact, people can't even shockwave you out of here, it just sticks to the bubble. So what's the catch? Well, Epic has made the duration of the bubble way shorter, but on the bright side, you can carry a ton more of them, so it kinda evens out. The true theme of today's update is all about one person though. Down in the underworld, this prison cell has been closed for most of the season, until now. Heading down here will reveal it is broken wide open, and inside the evidence of its former prisoner, Midas. There's a golden reboot card right next to the gold chains of Hades. Turns out they used the mythic to keep him tied to the wall, and thanks to the rise of Midas loading screen, we could see exactly how his escape went down. While the two guards were unshackling his hands, Midas turned them to gold before doing the same to the door. Gold is famously a soft metal and can bend very easily, allowing Midas to just push it out of the way, and now after years, he is free at last. So with Midas' return, they decided to give us some more nostalgia with the return of a classic weapon. The drum gun has been completely redesigned from the ground up, giving the chapter two version a more modern feel. But I think it was perfectly fine, why would they ever do this? Well, this new design has now made the drum gun moddable for the first time ever. Yes, you can now throw chapter five weapon attachments on this thing, customizing it to your every need. Wanna spray bush campers? A slap on a thermal site. Maybe you need less recoil. Throw on a muzzle brake or vertical foregrip. All of these now work with a drum gun and you can find the weapon from blue all the way up to legendary. Also helpful to know, you'll find Midas as an NPC at the Yacht POI. By landing here, he'll be roaming the top deck dressed in his new Ascendant outfit. He'll throw you some dialogue about his escape in the past couple of years, but if you interact with him, you'll get something even cooler. The chance to buy a purple drum gun. It's 300 gold though, so choose wisely, but there is also a patch up service, and if you're truly broke, just shoot Midas. He doesn't put up much of a fight, and once he goes down, he'll drop a blue drum gun for your troubles. Midas even respawns as a ghost to constantly provide you a service, and for some reason, you could see his skeleton. Now this NPC is in a pretty important location, the yacht. He's returned back to a place he's already familiar with, starting to redecorate the place. The classic Midas statue from chapter two is now in the middle, and if you're wondering why he's wearing glasses, this was the original design of Midas days before his official release. There's also plenty of gold over the yacht now, just pickaxe it and you'll be earning stacks in no time, but don't forget Midas is only an NPC, not a boss, so how do we get in the vault? It was previously inaccessible for season two, and thanks to the new update, Midas has opened it. It's not totally empty, and here you'll find some chests and gold for free. you also find a new Midas vending machine. These are all over the map right now, but pretty hard to miss. It's got his famous handprint on the front, and this sells you the new drum gun along with a bonus item like a pistol. Pistol. But I'm more interested in the latest feature that can be found on the map. This is a Midas service station unlike anything we have seen before. With the right amount of gold, this place will let you buy a rift to escape, provide a heal up service, or my favorite part, it'll upgrade the item in your hand to legendary. Literally a taste of the golden touch, how cool is that? Okay, well all of this is cool, but most of us are aching to get our hands on the new Midas skin. It has been so long since he was in the storyline that a huge amount of people don't even own the original from chapter 2, so this 
Midas is the next best thing. Well, Send of Midas will officially drop in one week on March 26. You'll be able to get his outfit, cape, a golden touch pickaxe, and a Midas wrap. I mean, he literally turns things to gold, so it kind of makes the wrap useless. But hey, maybe you're impatient and want to send it Midas now. Well, if you owe Mystique, you're in luck. Thanks to the NPC, you can wipe him out, use Mystique's emote, and there you have it, early access. Pretty useful, but I'm ecstatic about the most important update of Season 2. Guns are finally worth picking up now that Zeus's lightning has received a nerf. Previously, this thing could go straight straight through builds damaging players inside, which meant there was basically no way to defend yourself from it other than running away. Sure, the mythic made you an easy target, but in competitive, this thing made building useless. Well, it's now been patched and won't damage through builds, leaving the community split on being thankful or feeling the mythic is kind of weak now. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Now, you might be thinking, it has been a long time since we got an LTM in Fortnite. They only seem to happen for holidays and big occasions. Well, the return of Midas is a big deal, and Fortnite has designed a new Floors Lava event just to celebrate. You can play it right now as four huge volcanoes appear on the map and spew molten rock. The loop pools entirely legendary weapons and thunderbolt mythics as we battle to stay alive. Over time, lava will rise, flooding the entire map until there is nothing left but builds. It's honestly pretty well made, and Fortnite has given us a good reason to check it out. Yes, with this LTM, you can complete new challenges for free rewards. But during the battle royale side of things, you'll have the chance to earn the queen and gold glider that is literally a painting of marigold. How sweet is that? There's also the Rose of Averis back bling, and this one has a secret meaning. In the original Greek myth of King Midas, he slowly realizes his touch is a curse when he turns a flower to gold, removing its smell. This is that flower. And if you do 12 quests in the Floor's Lava LTM, you are my favorite reward of all, the Gilded Vengeance. This pickaxe is literally the shark that killed Midas on a harpoon. He got revenge after all. Along the way, you'll probably spot a chicken. I guess Midas got his hands on them because they're now made of solid gold. Pretty hard to find, but once you spot one, hang around because they lay solid gold eggs too, which you could crack open for 350 free bars perfect for all the items you're going to be spending them on. One of the strangest things we're about to get is a fruit that belongs to the gods. You might have noticed that bananas are totally missing from the loot pool right now. Okay, you, you probably didn't realize that, but now you know. And this is for a reason. Later in season two, you'll be able to find a banana of the gods that heals you over time. It'll also give you unlimited sprint and super jump, so the more you know. Thanks to the new drum gun, we are starting to realize that Fortnite can straight up add old guns and make them customizable. It's left us wondering what else could be redesigned, and it turns out leakers already have the answer. The tactical assault rifle is coming back with a fresh rework, so hopefully it still has that John Wick vibe, but it'll be extra customizable. Some people think they spotted it during Artemis' teaser trailer as Wrangler is holding an unreleased weapon, and I can definitely see the similarities. Then we have the hand cannon. Oh yeah, the famous deagle, not only is it being reworked, we'll finally be able to slap attachments on here to make it even more destructive. Hopefully the perfect mod combo will let you blast your builds just like the old days. And we are also only one week away from the next major crossover. Avatar The Last Airbender is finally coming to Fortnite, and with Korra unlocking on April 2nd, it is the perfect time to drop it. This collab will be a full-on event with a mini battle pass, challenges, and exclusive items. There will be four, yeah, four new mythics. Each of them will have their own chest that you can find it in, and then there will be a fifth chest that works like a combat cache and gives you one of the new mythics at random. Right now, the best theory is that the items will each be element, letting us spend water, earth, fire, and air. That is everything new in Fortnite's Midas update. It's been Tommy, keep it here on top five gaming.